What is up guys, Jonathan Strange here. Another video for y'all. At the end of the year, right before my 21st birthday, I ended up buying one of my dream cars. I did want to show you guys one of my dream cars and purchasing it, how it drives, and how freaking awesome this truck is. So for those who may not know, it is a 2021 brand new AT4 Sierra 1500 GMC truck. Love this baby. And let me show you guys why. So I love this truck for a couple reasons. And in this video, I wanted to kind of break down why I like this truck so much. If you guys are looking for some kind of in-depth review, just go somewhere else, because quite frankly, I would lie to you if I said I know a lot about vehicles. I really don't. I'm a pretty practical and simple guy. Uh, I just like the way the truck looks, the way it rides, and a few other things that I want to show you guys. The main reason I love this truck is just because of the looks. I mean, the truck is just freaking beautiful. Compared to any other truck on the market, it just doesn't compare to anything. The F-150, the Dodge truck models, Chevrolet, none of them. I mean, this the GMC just has such defining characteristics like these headlights that are just so much different than any other truck. And it really just makes it pop. You gotta give it to GMC for uh, really creating this particular model. The second reason I love this truck is because it's freaking huge. I mean, look at the size of this back. Massive. You can put so much stuff in here. For me, it's super practical. Now, the third reason I love this vehicle is because of the cameras. So, there's cameras here, here, and then if you look right there on the tail light on the back, you'll see a little small camera in the middle. It's kind of hard to see because it blends in with everything else. We also have cameras on the side of these mirrors. So if you look right here, as well as on the front, right there and one more on this mirror boom i can just click to lock the vehicle or click to unlock the vehicle you can also double click to unlock all of the doors in the vehicle super convenient especially when you have your hands full a lot like me because typically i have my keys in my pocket and it's always really frustrating to come down and try to fumble out your keys just to unlock your car this is a feature that my 4Runner didn't have, but my very first vehicle, a Hyundai Veloster, did have, and I really missed it. It was quite practical, actually. So inside the car here, so we've got a Bose stereo system in this particular package throughout the entire car, which is nice. I was a DJ in high school, so I like high quality music. There is a difference. And this is your back seat. So we have these little compartments here, which are pretty cool for like storing things um, without having to let the seats up. But these do come up, but a ton of space back here. Anybody that you have in this vehicle can be super comfy. I'm pretty tall and you can see there's a ton of leg room, even with my seat all the way back being as tall as I am. So there's even more leg room on this side. But here we have our heated seats in the back. We actually have an outlet here, a USB, and the USB-C, which is standard in this vehicle. You can also see it in the front. Come on, autofocus right there, which is pretty nice just because that is the standard today. The seats are heated and cool. They're fully leather, so super nice, super comfortable, but they also keep you really warm if it's super cold outside. So that's a nice perk, but the fourth thing that I like most about this vehicle is the digital rear view mirror. So as you can see right here, if I pull this down, it's now a mirror, right? So I can look at myself, hi. But if I pop it back up, it's now a digital mirror. This is super helpful when driving. I can't explain how much this has helped me in terms of just being safe on the dr on drive while driving down the road. And in general, just being able to see more things, right? The This camera is a lot wider angle than it would be if you just strictly relied on the mirror. So driving down the road at night or when you're in a tight area, having this on has been super helpful. I don't even turn it off. I keep it on the digital mirror at all times rather than keeping it on the traditional mirror. Since I bought this, but I believe this is an eight inch screen, touch screen, 
Unlike a lot of the other vehicles that we test drove before buying this, one of the vehicles I was looking at before I made the smart decision of getting a truck was the Kia Telluride. And the Kia Telluride's touchscreen was nowhere near as responsive as this, uh, as well as Hyundai's equivalent, which is the Palluride. I'm probably saying that wrong, but nonetheless, this screen has been by far the best digitizer for those in the uh, cell phone repair industry and for those who are not just touchscreen feature the fifth thing that might surprise you guys that i like most about this vehicle is what actually made me change my mind about wireless charging so this particular vehicle has fully functioning wireless charging so if i put my phone down here you can see that now it's charging really cool feature and I was never really a big fan of wireless charging until I got this truck because without wireless charging in a vehicle, you know, you have all these cables down here and I'm a neat freak. I really like being organized and I don't like getting in a car and there just being wads of cables everywhere. So having this feature really is really, really nice in my opinion. I use it a lot more than I thought I would and it's actually made me start utilizing wireless charging in ways that I never thought I would before. So pretty cool stuff. Next, the HUD display. I think that's what this is called, probably dash display, but regardless, this is beautiful. I was really picky about this just because I felt like you should be since it's the thing you look at basically the entire time that you're driving. And all of the other ones in most of the 2021 or 2020 trucks, they look like they were from like the 90s, right? Like there's not much change to it. Really, really like the way this HUD looks. It's got some interactive features, like you can come here, look at your mileage, you can, come on here. Yes, I have put almost 4,000 miles on this vehicle since I bought it. I drove to Chicago and back with this vehicle and I just put a lot of vehicles on my cars in general. This is pretty cool because you can actually connect it to the navigation system and it will actually show you your turns here as well as this final thing that is my absolute, probably the reason that I bought this car, which is the HUD display. So if you can see right there, this feature is literally what sold me on the car, I cannot even lie. I had never thought that such a small feature would make such a big difference in your driving experience, but when you're driving around, just being able to see the speed without having to look down and take your eyes off the road, just being able to change the song and see what's up, what's about to play, to see the volume, to see your turns on the, on the actual road while you're driving, is really just game changing. And really was probably the main reason that I went for this truck. So I wanted to kind of show you guys the HUD. So this is your, or sorry, your Android Auto, which is essentially the same as Apple CarPlay. Really cool, you can go in here to access all your apps. You can actually talk directly with your Google Assistant. You can access your Spotify directly. You can do lots of cool things. I personally like Android Auto much better, but I'll make a video showing you guys the difference on why I like Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay. But these cameras is what I was telling you about that really makes really makes this car what it is. So you can see here, we can actually switch through all of the different features of the vehicle. And it will show you a live view and it will even do it while you're driving, which is really freaking awesome. Like I said earlier, it has heated and cooled seats. And the rear seats are also heated as well. So if we click this button, you'll see that it, the tail hitch comes down. And then if we click the top button one more time, this part comes down. This actually allows us to have this open and it becomes a step stool. We can actually step up into the truck a lot easier. Um, this also makes moving very efficiently. So if you're loading something into the back of the truck, you can simply just step up into it a lot easier. Another thing that I liked about this feature is that when the stool or the step, whatever you want to call it, is not open, it allows you to get this much further in into your truck. Here on the side, we do have our functions for the four wheel drive. So it's normally in, I normally keep it in two wheel drive, but we have the option to shift it to four wheel drive low gear and four wheel drive high gear, um, or you can put it on automatic. I, like I said, typically keep it on two wheel drive just cause I live in Alabama and I don't typically go mud bogging or drive in the snow or anything like that. If it is raining or something, I'll put it in four wheel drive. But for the most part, I keep it in two wheel drive. But just to show you guys how it works, you can click this. Then on the HUD display, it'll tell you that it's shifting in progress. And then now you can see in the right hand corner, it's in four wheel drive high gear. And then if I want to shift back, just click the button. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the actual engine's making it shift. 
and then there you go two-wheel drive boom so really cool features this right here is actually a light for the back so if I turn that on let me show you guys all of these lights come on on the back so this was really nice especially if you keep a um, toolbox back here uh, I know a lot of like contractors and just friends that I have in the uh, rental house business industry or the rental industry they tend to keep a lot of things in the back of their vehicle and at nighttime getting them out can be a hassle sometimes you might have to pull out the flashlight on your phone or try to figure out another method of finding the items in the back but having these lights really makes a big difference another cool thing about the back is if we see right here we actually have a outlet so this is pretty cool because if i open this I can use this as like a power tool outlet. Like, so let's say I'm working on a house that doesn't have power. I can simply plug in my power tool here and work and do what I've got to do, whether it's cutting a piece of plywood or cutting a piece of two by four, or maybe drilling something in or charging batteries for my power tools. That allows me to do it. And a lot of you guys may be asking, okay, well, what's like the output on it or what can I actually use? Like, would it take a saw? So I actually used a uh, circular saw on this. Uh, while the car was running and had no problems at all. So I'm sure you can find online like the specifics of it, but from all the ads and everything, it kind of looks like what it's meant for. So I think they kept in mind that most people using this would probably be using some kind of power tool. So yes, it should be powerful enough. On this side, we have this bar for, I believe this is for stepping up. Yeah guys, that's my 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. For a lot of you guys that do not know, you know, I didn't have it easy growing up. I left home at 16 years old I had to grind my freaking face off to get to where I am today because that was my only opportunity, my only outlook. So from the time I was 14 is when I actually started Central Alabama iPhone Repair, which is XI Repair today. And that's that was my main company, that was my main focus. I was hustling 24 seven a day. I used to answer the phone call at 2 a.m. in the morning to go do a phone repair and 45 minutes away from here before my school started at seven just to make a buck. Like. That's how I got to where I am today to be able to afford this vehicle. I bought this car with no mommy and daddy's money, no family co-signer, no, none of that. It was me working hard and with my significant other being able to afford something like this. You know, I just grind every single day and I can't be grateful enough to the opportunities I've been given because of my own dedication to my work. It's been a lot, it's, it's enabled me to afford things like this and put other people in positions to where they can one day afford the same types of things. So I don't want anyone thinking this video is about me stunting. I'm not trying to stunt on anybody. I'm not trying to brag on anybody. I'm just showing you guys that I'm grateful for what I'm able to afford with the hard work that I work for. And I think I can do that. I think that's a fair thing to do. I think a lot of people go out there and they stunt with things that aren't actually theirs. Nobody bought me a vehicle. Nobody paid for this. My first vehicle wasn't paid for by somebody else. It was me, working hard. I saved up enough cash at 15 years old to buy my first vehicle, which was ironically actually driving behind me when I was driving up here to, to film this video, which I don't know, call it luck or whatever you want, but it was a surreal moment for me because here I am driving in my new 2021 GMC Sierra and my the same exact year and model of my Hyundai Veloster, which is my first vehicle I paid cash for when I was 15 years old for money that I had made from my phone repair business pulls up right behind me as I'm coming up here to film this video. So, you know, it, it's still surreal for me that I'm able to afford something like this. You know, I financed this truck, but I financed it in my own name. I had no credit history outside of credit cards and my business to show that I could afford this truck. And yet I was still able to get an extremely low interest rate and extremely a reasonable price to be able to afford this new truck at 20 years old. And to me, that's a big accomplishment. And I want to share that with you guys, not to just sit up here and brag or to try to get likes or to stun, stun on everyone else and make other people feel like shit because they haven't done the same thing, but to show you guys that you can do it. Like I'm not some extraordinary dude. I'm just a guy who's dedicated. I get up every morning, I work hard every single day and I'm dedicated to the grind. And if you do the same thing, I promise you, you can afford way better vehicles than what I've got right here. And I will celebrate with you as much as I expect you to celebrate with me and everyone else for being a successful entrepreneur. 
And you know, that's what it's all about. It's not about fancy cars, it's about doing what you love. And when you get to a, part, a point where you can afford something like this and you can justify it on your tax return, then by all means. But again, guys, super happy. Thank you guys for watching if you stick through it this far. I apologize for my untechnical review of the 2021 Sierra. A lot of you guys are probably judging me going like, man, this guy bought this $60,000 car and doesn't even know shit about the truck. But hey, you know, I'm focused on the business. You know, I drive the car because it gets me to where I gotta go and gets me to, to the places that I gotta be. And that's all that matters, you know? What, how the engine works, I could care less. Thanks for watching as always. I can't explain how grateful I am for this truck, but more importantly for you guys for watching these videos, subscribing to my channel, liking these videos for the YouTube algorithm, because it does help get my videos out to more awesome people just like you. But comment below what your grind is, what your hustle is, what you get up every single day to be able to afford nice things in life. Tell me what you're doing out there. I want to hear about it. I want to communicate with you guys. I will respond to the comments. So yeah, tell me what you're grinding on right now. I want to know. Till the next one, peace out.